Hey what's up YouTube, I'm back again with another review. Um, today I'm actually going to be showing you guys uh, a couple of World War I gas masks. Um, I'll explain this in a minute, but let's check out the gas masks. So the gun show's in town. I just picked up a Woodland Alice pack. I've never had a Woodland one before. Uh, an Arvin rucksack. Um, these two gas masks. And there's the first one, and it's Carrier. You can see it has D-rings. There's an original stamp. There's the back. Now, I believe that these are the corrected English models. I'll, I'll try to show you guys the inside. Still has the flutter valve. The uh, tube is still very very pliable which is surprising it has the yellow canister or filter there's the bottom of that inside the carrier was the waterproof bag or the not the waterproof bag the uh, weather or waterproof kit from what I understand you just crimp this onto the hose um, and it's supposed to keep water from going down in the filter Obviously that's probably not too good for it. Also came with the anti-fogging kit. Let's see if I can get this open. There's that. Possibly post-war. And then an envelope for instructions, record card, and tape for repair. The tape is still there. Um, and the uh, it has no records on it. Then moving over to here, onto this one. It's in a little bit more beat up shape. This one is from 1917, so here's the year 2017. So sometime this year it's gonna turn 100, if it hadn't already. Then it, there's the waterproof kit. There's the anti-fogging, uh, I guess, cloth. Uh, an envelope with an actual date and use. It's kind of crazy to think about in someone's name. Let you guys read that. And here's the mask itself. It's obviously a lot more beat up. It's missing one island. Flutter valve is still present. And it has the black training filter. So, the reason why I'm wearing the, uh, excuse me, the reason why I'm wearing the level 2 bulletproof vest and this K-pot, the face shield attachment, is because there is something extra in this bag right over here. So I found this little case, which is a shaving kit from what I understand, like a Gillette shaving kit. And inside this case were these five live rounds. Now I don't know how old these rounds are, um, they could be as old as the mask, uh, but nonetheless they are very 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 dangerous. So after this, I'm um, probably going to go uh, call the city police, see what they want to do with it. If you guys have any questions about this stuff, or want to see reviews of the stuff that I got, uh, just let me know. Have a good one.